My guest for today, Roosevelt Adams. You shared your high school at college career in basketball in U.S. Well, I played in Hemet, a little town in California, then a route and played at Mount San Seno. And then I earned a full ride to go to an NAIA uh, school called the uh, College of Idaho. Who is your most admired basketball player? The LeBron James, uh, the GOATs, uh, just like how he uh, is a very balanced out player. He can score, uh, control the floor, rebound when needed, defend when needed, and the longevity. I was playing in the mighty sports. Sports was fun. Um, it what really got me started as a professional. Um, what rose my stock up, getting ready for the PBA. But yeah, Coach Charles, uh, me, and uh, gave me an opportunity to play for his team. And I just did what I needed to do. And yeah, I, it was just a blessing. Was playing alongside Blatch at Boltman. I did not play alongside with Blatch, but I did play along with Boltman and Lamar Odom. Um, which was the year before, or the year after Blatch, I believe, or before Blatch. Um, so that was a great experience. Um, it was fun learning under those guys. Um, they had some funny stories uh, on the road trips and all whatnot, but um, I just soaked in as much as I could, uh, especially being my first year as a professional. How's your stint in uh, It was, I mean, I was excited. Um, just being going in as the number one pick, um, you know, obviously pressure and whatnot, all eyes on you, see how you perform. Top three hardest players defend in PBA. Yeah. Now this one is a hard one. Um, I'll probably, well, for the short stink in the PBA, so I'll say no, at the top, I'll probably go with CJ because coming into the league, didn't know what to expect and having having to guard him every day at practice was no joke. Um, reigning scoring MVP, or scoring champion <laughs> first up and first hand every day at practice. So that was a handful. Be right. Uh, just a big guard that's always moving, very smart, could shoot the lights out. So right now, friendly <laughs> question: You can beat Andreas Kahilig on one on one. My guy Trey, uh, I'm gonna say yes. Uh, as a competitor, obviously, if you ask him the same question, he's gonna say yes. Um, so I'm gonna go with yes, um, just because of the com competitor side of me, and I will not take an L for an answer. Okagawa five arrows reach you and give offer you a job. Uh, my agent you, is did all the work for me. I was interested in, was very interested in my gameplay, uh, thought I would fit in. So my agent just spoke with their manager and then just got everything started. You have offer from other PBA teams before signing in Kagawa. Uh, the biggest rumor I did, or after Terra Firma, gave me the initial offer. Uh, that was basically it. So basically I take it or not. Um, but when I did come back for Gilas, I did hear a couple of rumors. But, I mean, rumors are rumors. Um, it's not true unless, you know, somebody really comes up to you and starts talking numbers and negotiating. So, uh, that's about it. Represent the country in FIBA and playing alongside with Jordan Clarkson. Uh, that was very fun. Um, another one for the books. I mean, playing alongside Jordan Clarkson and representing for the country was a great honor. Um, I would do it again if I needed to uh, or got the call up again. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Um, I learned a lot from the coaches, uh, the players that have been on the team for a long time, and even Jordan himself. Uh, Your jersey number in terra firma is zero. I was number zero in college. So, I mean, I just stuck with it. It was available. I stuck with it. And, you know... <laughs> That's about it. Nothing special. <laughs> Question your top five NBA players of all time. I'm about to start a war. Uh, <laughs> all time. Um, we 
got to go with Jordan. Any particular order or position, I'm just going with my top five. So I'm going to say Jordan, LeBron, Shaq, Magic, and Giannis. Thank you for watching. Please also subscribe my YouTube channel.